think about this. You got an established politician and a, or, or a woman who's been in, in the public eye. She's like that iconic. You know her by her first name. It's like Madonna, Oprah, Hillary, and a still to be determined Republican challenger. Who will it be? Who will will it be? You know, an establishment kind of guy. Will it be a, an upstart? This is going to be a fun thing to cover. Even though we're you know we're we're fighting for I think the future of the country and the direction of the country from our standpoint, Chris. This is going to be a, a there's a great deal of material here, isn't there? Well, yeah, this is one of my concerns on the Republican side, and yes, I guess it's good, but it's almost gotten out of control. They're having a, a candidate forum in New Hampshire this weekend. Mm-hmm. You know how many either announced or potential Republican candidates are going up there? <laughs> 137. 19. No, it's 19. I, I swear. <laughs> 19. And, and you know, that's, I, I mean, if you had a half dozen or whatever, but 19 candidates, and you just sort of wonder what's going to happen in the race. And look, we saw it in 2012, where uh, the Republican field and the conservatives in the field pushed Mitt Romney, and look, he's responsible for what he said. They pushed him from a political standpoint, forget on whether or on a substance standpoint, to go too far to the right, particularly on immigration, and as a result, it ended up hurting him in the general election, and I think the same thing could happen again in this race. While Hillary Clinton is kind of able to sail to the nomination on the Democratic side, you're going to have this real food fight on the Republican side, and, and it's going to be tough, and they're going to bring up bad things about each other, and you wonder if when it's all over, the Republican candidate may just be the last one left standing.